you. This is your custom rod, huh? That's the one arm bandit rod. That Ooh. looks so light. Now I'm gonna, I know. I'm gonna demonstrate some. Demonstrate. I want to get this on camera. <laughs> this is how a one arm man fishes. Whoa. That looks like it works pretty well. Hey, that just went 140 yards. You fishermen with two hands get jealous. <laughs> Awesome. Hey everybody, we are at One Arm Bandits. It's a tackle shop in North Carolina and uh, we're going to learn how to tie a shock leader. A shock leader will prevent you from losing a really big fish. Casting over and over again really puts strain on your regular line and a shock leader will take some of that pressure off and keep your line strong. Okay, are we ready? Yeah. Here comes that. Okay. Now I'm going to need help with this because I've only had one hand. So, this is what we're going to do. Okay? We're going to make a circle. Okay? Mm -hmm. A circle. We're going to run it through once. We're going to run it through twice. What does that do? That makes a figure of eight. See that? Ah. So, Give me some lime on it. Let's do it this way, let's do it this way. <laughs> okay. You step over here. Dad, come over here. Yes, yes sir. You hold the reel. Put it in the first eye of the eight. Then the second way, second eye. You see how that mm -hmm. line is laying flat in the in the eight? Mm -hmm. That's how you want it. Okay, now let me let go of the line. You hold that line. Okay, you're gonna wrap this twelve times. Now, if you was trying time mono to mono, only wrap it eight times. You're gonna bring it back through this first loop. I see. Okay. Okay. Now that pull a little bit together. Tighten up that Not much. a little bit. Now, what you want to do is you want to lube it up. Get it all wet. And then you want to cinch it. Cinch it. Whatever. Cinch it. Oh, nice. You look how pretty knot that is. That is nice. Now, hold that. Fingernail clips. This is my grandpa right here. Oh. Hi, Name's not your brother. Peaked. <laughs> you don't okay. fish. That's why they make fish. Hold farms. that. <laughs> Hold that. Hold that. Now, since this is braid and will come through your eyes very easily, you always want to leave about an inch because that allows for slippage. Right. Otherwise, you could lose the whole knot. It could slip. It. Yes. After you get done, give it another pull. Now, this is what we're going to do. Go ahead. Yeah, I don't know how long the rod you got. Ten foot six. Go ahead. Okay. We're going to cut it off right yeah. there. Now, since we don't have the rod, go ahead and reel it up. 
Okay. Okay. Go to here. Okay, hold there. Are you thinking you tie that knot? I think I, if, <laughs> with practice I can, I can do it. And that I'm going to watch the video, I'm going to learn how to do it. That, that was really world. pretty. It was really nice It's looking. a slim beauty. It's called figure slim eight, beauty. But always remember that that line has to go straight through that figure eight. If it goes up and down, come back through the other way. Okay. Mm -hmm. It needs to sit straight when, when that figure eight you don't want it to be crooked and, and tighten it like that. You want it to go straight through. Okay. And always remember to loop it up. On braid, wrap it 12 times. On monofilm, wrap it six, about eight times. All right. Okay. Thank you so Thank much. You. Now you Thank know you. how to tie the shock knot. Thank Ooh. you. One Arm Bandit taught me how to tie the shock leader. And this, this will prevent, this will put strain on this line rather than our main line so that we won't be losing any big fish. Is that correct? That's right. Okay, cool. If anybody's in North Carolina, needs some fishing insight, needs some advice, come to One Arm Bandit. He's full of knowledge, very helpful, and I appreciate, appreciate your The name help. of the store is Right On 12. Huh? Right On 12. Right On 12. The name of the store is called Right On 12. Not yep, in, in Hatteras, we're in Hatteras, right? We'll see. Buxton. Buxton. In Buxton, North Carolina. Right on 12. <laughs> this is not frozen. This is yeah. was swimming yesterday. You use that for bait? Yeah, we're gonna come back and use this for bait later. So I learned how to tie a shock leader. Next episode, we're gonna put it to action. Thank you guys for watching. I hope that this this could help you. You know, we, we stopped into this bait shop and he was so helpful. We wanted to share we wanted to share with everybody uh, the information that we're learning. If you want to learn more about surf fishing, beach fishing, saltwater fishing, check out our Senko Skipper store. We've got loads of information on there. We've got lots of stuff on there for you guys to try out and lots of stuff for you to learn. So check it out. It's in the link in the description below. Have a good one, guys.